Okay, fellas. Um, I'm going to try to replicate what I ran last night to try to get 600 volts across the Cromery with this light um, showing. So I'm just going to go over basically what I have here. I have the red multimeter that's hooked directly up to the full wave bridge rectifier here with no capacitor across the lead, so this is open. I have coming off, you know, the AC, which is these essentially these two tubes is where my AC comes off the brushes. I have a set screw here that I have attached this other AC multimeter that I've set for um, AC voltage. <clears throat> this one will be set for DC voltage. I have one lead coming from the top slip ring going into <coughs> the, the smaller um, 2 microfarad capacitor. Um, there is a series from that into the other 10 microfarad capacitor which is then series back to the slip ring, uh, the bottom slip ring. Off of this capacitor I have in parallel um, is this bulb. So this hopefully will show the voltage that we attained yesterday, um, which was you know probably 600 some volts, uh, and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Okay, fellas, here we go. Let's see what we get out of this one. Contact and we should be able to take this up just uh, shy of around 10 or 11 K before um, yeah, we'll see the bell curve so it's going to be quite fast so here we go I'm going to hold these down so that it'll be all visible here we go now if you notice there's no light shining and it shows 60 volts across the bulb there's nothing there okay now here we go we're going to start ramping it up again there's 91 volts and there's nothing showing up across the bulb at all. Nothing. There's 115 and it's just beginning to glow. Barely, 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 barely. Now we're here we go. The fun begins. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Um, definitely saying it's that voltage, definitely lighting the bulb, but it took over 115 volts across it um, as read by the AC multimeter and the DC multimeter without any form of um, capacitor on the DC to register that type of light. So in any event, the frequency is extraordinarily high, and what I'll try to do in just a minute is I'll, I'm going to, <clears throat> for the sake of this argument, disconnect this red multimeter which has uh, just coming off the full bridge uh, wave rectifier so that I can attempt to measure the voltage coming across this lamp in AC um, instead of just measuring it here. Uh, again, Clive, you know, I take it uh, under good advisement what you mentioned, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm just going to shut it off for a moment and get myself situated. Okay, guys, um, here's the next step in the experiment as uh, per your request, Clive. Uh, essentially what I've done is I've changed the digital multimeter here to the AC 750 volt range to be registering across um, the bulb. So this is the outlet of the bulb right here. I have the digital multimeter, the red one, coming right off of this, which goes directly to the bulb. Everything else is the same. Uh, there's no, been no change. This is just showing that the, the DC off the um, rectifier 
just a, piece, just a piece of plastic with both leads to prevent it from bouncing together and shorting itself out. Um, and we'll see what this does. I really have no idea what the <clears throat> the voltage is going to register across the across um, the the bulb itself versus uh, registering across the output of the cromery um, on the slip ring. So here we go. Let's find out. All right, well, that's fascinating. Um, that shows, uh, Clive, you're right, that there is not <clears throat> 600 uh, volts across the bulb. It's actually only showing, you know, the normal 115 volts across the bulb. But the output in AC still form is um, over 600. Now, let's try for grins. Uh, the next experiment I'm going to do is I'm going to simply uh, disassociate this light bulb from this. And I will, again, place the leads of this off the, the DC side change this back over to DC and we're going to run this Cromry without the light bulb and see what type of voltage we're registering um, just coming off of it without any form of load um, on the AC side versus what's coming out of it out of the, um, the DC side. So I'll stop it, get myself situated and we'll be ready to go in a minute. Alright guys, here we go again. Okay, now we have the same scenario except we do not have the load on the AC side whatsoever, the same fig configuration. Uh, one lead goes into the 2 microfarad um, capacitor, another lead in series to a 10 microfarad capacitor, which then goes back into the slip ring. So these two are hooked in, um, in series. <clears throat> and we will see what happens with the AC voltage versus the DC voltage without any load. And again, I really have no idea, so we're going to find out right now. <coughs> Okay, again, you can see that there is a bell curve at a much higher RPM and putting out roughly uh, 636 volts. It is interesting that um, the, the voltage that seems to be coming out of the AC side and the DC side um, is only dropping the overall voltage from 636 to 617. I think my memory shows were correct if I look back at the video, um, but it's not really detracting from the AC voltage that much with the, the 60 watt load. So. In any event, um, thanks for watching, and again, just sort of an interesting observation.